Hey, what's going on Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Festival of the Lost exclusive legendary auto rifle, The Horror Story. You can pick this up from Amanda Holiday for a total of about 120 fragmented souls, which of course are the new event themed form of currency that you can get by completing Festival of the Lost bounties and by playing the new Haunted Forest activity. The Haunted Forest is of course the new kind of dungeon delving reimagining of the Infinite Forest on Mercury, and is an activity that personally I really enjoy, I'd love to see it stick around long after this event goes away. But the horror story is the big reward for competing in this event, and will likely take you quite a bit of time to receive. So let's answer the question of whether or not it's worth the grind. The Horror Story is a 450 RPM auto rifle, which of course places it in the precision frame class. So it's got a very manageable recoil pattern that leaves the gun pretty easy to use. It shares this class with about 12 other auto rifles right now, with a few popular new rivals like the Hazard of the Cast from Gambit and the Tiger Spite from the Dreaming City, which were also of course released in Forsaken. Taking a look at the weapon stats, you can see that it has a range stat of 61, a stability stat of 46, a reload stat of 47, 43 for its handling, a surprisingly bad aim assist stat of 35, making it the lowest of any of the 450 RPM autos, a recoil direction stat of 73, and a magazine size of 32. Going through this, the horror story is really, really hurting for range. It's got the worst range stat of any of the precision frame autos, and having that lower aim assist doesn't really do it many favors either. The mixture of bad range and bad aim assist definitely hurts this weapon down the line. Its reload speed, recoil, and stability, however, are decent, making it very easy to control and keep on target. The reload masterwork that comes with it also ensures that downtime due to reloading is kept to a minimum, which is a plus. For all intents and purposes, it's basically an origin story with an extra perk and slightly worse stats. So if you were a fan of the original origin story in year one of D2, then you'll probably really like the horror story as well. Taking a look at the perks, the horror story comes with a red dot micro for increased range and handling speed, flared magwell for slightly increased stability and increased reload speed, zen moment where causing damage with the horror story grants it even further increased stability, and finally rampage which gives you a thrice stacking damage buff on kills. Of course the horror story also comes with a fully maxed out level 10 reload masterwork, highlighting the focus of increased reload speed with this weapon. I get the feeling this was probably done in an attempt to maximize the utility of Rampage, giving players a quick reload speed so they could keep their stacks up, but for the most part this is a very serviceable role, there's really not too much wrong with it. Like I said, if you enjoyed the original origin story, this is that but with extra stability. Rampage on its own is certainly a fantastic PvE perk, but it's generally better served by higher impact weapons like hand cannons where you can feasibly start one-shotting mobs. But of course it still does pretty good work on the horror story in PvE and surprisingly in some instances in PvP as well. Now, is the horror story worth the grind? Well the answer to that is yes and no, but more yes than no. Let me explain. While the horror story is perfectly fine as it is, auto rifles aren't really in the greatest spot right now when it comes to PvE or PvP. Not that they're bad, mind you, but there are a lot of really great options out there between perfectly rolled Duke hand cannons, scout rifles after the buff, you know, etc, etc. And you're not going to be doing the most damage with the horror story. Additionally, it is kind of outclassed by some of its peers, namely the Hazard of the Cast and the Tiger Spite. The Hazard is actually capable of rolling the same perks as the horror story, but with better range and aim assist, plus its ability to have different masterworks tied to it beyond just the reload speed meant that you could potentially get a hazard that works better and in more situations than the horror story. And of course the same can almost be said of the Tiger Spite, though I don't think that can roll Rampage, I don't think that's in the perk pool for it. Basically, if you've got good luck, you can get a better rolled auto than this, if you're lucky. Which of course creates a competition problem for the horror story. Now, in PvP, the horror story doesn't really stray too far from other 450 RPM auto rifles. They've got the highest time to kill of any autos, sitting at a lengthy 0.93 seconds, which means you'll probably be experiencing about a 1 second, maybe 1.1 second kill time on average in PvP. 
Optimally, this thing can drop guardians in about six crit shots and one body shot, which isn't really too demanding. Again, this gun's really easy to control recoil-wise, though the lower range and aim assist are definitely felt in the crucible. You're going to get outshot a lot by long-range pulse rifles and hand cannons with this thing. And you can really feel the lack of stickiness outside of close range encounters due to the lower aim assist. If you're somebody who doesn't really use auto rifles too much in PvP and you jump straight to the horror story, you're going to have a rough time getting used to the way it feels. And just competing with some of those other longer range weapons. But if you've got a good hand for it, the horror story can be decent enough here in PvP. But you have definitely got some real competition with the likes of Ace of Spades, Bygones, Lunas, Vigilance Wing, the Ever Living, and even some of the better rolled autos out there. So while it's not bad, it's also not going to be the best performing thing in PvP. The static roll here actually kind of limits its viability, since there are other perks that the horror story could really benefit from aside from Zen Moment and a Reload Masterwork. A perk like Ambitious Assassin to overflow the magazine or Outlaw just to supplement that extra reload speed would work pretty well, while mixing in a different masterwork for extra range. Anything that could just help you get those Rampage stacks up and keep them going would be really appreciated in PvP. Mod-wise, Targeting Adjuster is a decent choice to help with this weapon's terrible aim assist stat, but I find Minor Spec, which boosts damage against red bar enemies to be really helpful on the horror story, allowing you to more easily take out smaller enemies in droves, build up your Rampage stacks, and hopefully keep those stacks live with the quick reload speed that this weapon already has. But overall, in PvP, you really need to treat this like a lower range auto rifle. You're not going to be challenging some of those long range pulses and hand cannons, so keep things at mid to very close range when you're utilizing the horror story. But what makes this weapon worth it is simply the fact that it drops with no level requirement, at 600 power, and with a level 10 masterwork. This is absolutely incredible for players still trying to make their way towards power level 600, whether they're on their first, second, or third characters. The benefit of having this weapon boosting your light really can't be overstated, and the fact that it can be obtained without any real need for in-game grinding like doing raids and whatnot is a huge boon for players still working their way towards max light. If you're underleveled right now, you owe it to yourself to farm for this thing. The boost it's going to give you will make power level grinding go by so much faster. It's definitely worth your time. And therein might lie the real benefit of having the horror story in the game right now. It's something that you can grind for and get within a reasonable amount of time. It took me like three hours of constant play to get the fragmented souls necessary to pick this up. And that creates a huge benefit for you guardians out there who are still working your way towards power level 600. If you're somebody who's already at power level 600, well, you might not see that same benefit. Overall, the Horror Story is a pretty decent auto rifle, offering great stability, a decent roll, and a significant boost to power level. It's certainly got its quirks. Unfortunately, other precision frame autos can indeed outmatch it by providing better stats and more optimized rolls via perk combinations they can achieve. And if you're someone who has already reached 600 on all of your characters, you won't really benefit too much from the power level that this weapon provides. But if you haven't gotten a god rolled hazard or tiger spite yet, then the horror story is right up your alley, providing a more than serviceable roll on a decent enough auto rifle. And with the variety of weapons available in the game right now, I wouldn't really be too surprised if this gun was a favorite of some guardians out there. So don't sleep on it just yet. If you're a fan of auto rifles, get on the grind and give the horror story a try. You never know, it may just surprise you. And it really doesn't take too much effort to get. But those are my thoughts, Guardians. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. Have you gotten the horror story? How do you feel about it? Be sure to let me know down there. But that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'm Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.